A madeleine is a small shell-shaped cake from the Lorraine region of France, and they're delicious alongside a cup of coffee, especially when they're homemade, which is what Elle's gonna do today. That's right, and one of the most distinctive characteristics of this madeleine cookie is its shape, mm -hmm. right? And we achieve that by using a madeleine tin. Yep. It's very popular, you can buy it at any cake shop. Mm -hmm. But one of the most challenging parts of this recipe is getting the madeleines out of the pan. Yes. Well, we're not gonna have that happen today. I'm gonna start by greasing this pan thoroughly. All right, I think we have them all. Now we can move into making our madeleine batter. Mm -hmm. And this comes together really quickly, so you really need to have all of your mise en place in place. You gotta have everything you need right there ready to go. Okay, doke. Okay, so we're starting with one cup of cake flour, mm -hmm. and we have a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna mix it well into the flour, and just set that aside. So I have my stand mixer here with our paddle attachment. Mm -hmm. To that, I'm gonna add two whole eggs and one egg yolk. Okay. I'm going to put this on medium high and let it mix until it's frothy. That might take about five minutes. Okay. Okay. All right, it's been five minutes. This looks pretty foamy. I'm mm -hmm. really happy with it. I'm gonna add half a cup of sugar and a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And then I'm gonna whip it for another five minutes. Same speed. Well, that certainly changed color, huh? Yeah, it did. Color, texture, everything. Just as thick as we want it to be. Nice and foamy. I'm just going to gently fold in our cake flour. And again, that's one cup of cake flour. Now I'm gonna add 10 tablespoons of unsalted butter and it's been melted and cooled. All right, make sure that you are getting the sides of your bowl to get all the batter incorporated. That looks great and it smells good already. It does. Yeah, it's time to get it into the madeleine pan. All right, so this is a bit of a process so you're gonna start first with a full tablespoon of batter. I'm gonna use an offset spatula to level it off. That's right, because there's so little, you gotta make sure they bake at the same rate. Yes. So I'm also using just a regular kitchen spoon for scraping the batter. Now, to fill the mold, you need one and a half tablespoons. So I just take my tablespoon in there. I look at it, I make sure it's about half and I add it to the mold. All right, so a tablespoon and a half of batter per mold. Per mold. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish filling these molds for our little cakes. Great. All right, that's the last one. Nice and done. Thank you very much. And these are ready to go into the oven, but if you notice, we still have half the batter left, mm -hmm. and we are going to repeat this process all over again with the second half of the batter. This is gonna go into the oven, 375 degrees. I set the oven rack in the middle position and it only takes 10 minutes to cook. But in five minutes, I'm gonna rotate it and then we'll be ready to go. Hey there, fellow fans of cooking. Wanna stay in the know? Visit americastestkitchen.com and sign up for our free Notes from the Test Kitchen email newsletter. Get exclusive tips, seasonal recipes, product reviews, and more delivered straight to your inbox. Sign up for free at americastestkitchen.com. Ooh, these look amazing. There we go. Wow. You can tell they must be good because you started to sing a little bit there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Now, these look amazing, but we still have to test it for doneness. And so I do that by just using my finger and pressing down. And if it springs back, it's probably ready. It smells delicious. It smells so good. Uh, and we got that beautiful golden edge that Madeleines are very much known for. Mm -hmm. So now they just need to cool for about 10 minutes in the tin mm -hmm. on the cooling rack. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes and the Madeleines have cooled on the rack. This is where I need you to cross your fingers, your eyes, and your toes that they <laughs> pop out easily. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Nothing but net. Oh my gosh. Oh yes. I love it so much. And Very... that little hump on the backside that makes them not lay flat. That is a classic shape. These Aww. are looking great. I'm just grateful that they're popping out so easily. That means we oiled our tin properly, mm -hmm. right? All right, now that those are done, we're going to clean up. Mm -hmm. We're gonna re-grease our baking sheet and do the same thing with the second batch of dough. Sounds good. Great. Look at these perfect, gorgeous madeleines. What are you gonna eat? <laughs> I'll try and get one. <laughs> They're beautiful, Al. Thank you very much. And I'm gonna finish them off with a little confectioner's sugar. Oh, I love that. For looks. It feels so traditional, so classic, so French. So French. I'm just gonna just take two. 
<laughs> so they're perfectly paired with our coffee. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's dig in. Uh-huh. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I live for that crunchy edge. Mm -hmm. I do. I'm going to dip in my coffee. Mmm. They're light. They're tender. Mmm. So good with coffee. They're just so much better when you make them from scratch Agreed. yourself. And it's pretty easy. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's very easy. It's very easy. I think people would be surprised. Mm -hmm. If I could eat these every day. Yeah, we'd be in trouble. We'd be in trouble. <laughs> I don't know how good it is that they're so easy to make at home. Elle, this is perfect. Thank you. Well, it's my pleasure. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> so there you have it. If you want to make madeleines at home, start by greasing the madeleine mold thoroughly. Use cake flour in the batter and let the cakes cool in the tins for 10 minutes before removing. From America's Test Kitchen, a wonderful recipe for madeleines. You can get this recipe and all the recipes from this season, along with select episodes and our product reviews at our website, americastestkitchen.com slash TV. Marty on number two. Dunkin' Cookies. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you're ready to take your cooking to the next level, head over to americastestkitchen.com and get a free all-access trial membership. While you're there, you can sign up for our free email newsletters and download our app. With unlimited access to over 14,000 of our Test Kitchen recipes, and 8,000 product reviews, you'll have everything you need to cook and learn. So I asked, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Let's make something great together.